first bite. Mm. Hello, beautiful friends. Welcome to the Sunshine Farm. I'm Jen. I'm 20 weeks pregnant. I am uh, plant-based and I want to share what I eat in a day with all of you. Especially excited to share with you our dinner because this is one of my favorite recipes and it's been so long since I've had this. So join me for the day and we'll have some delicious food and some of it will be from the garden. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right With you and I the future is bright oh, You and I we got it This is avocado toast. My mom has actually been shipping us avocados from California from her neighbors. That's where I'm from. And so we've been getting fresh avocados kind of locally sourced from California, from my hometown. And then I topped it off with some homegrown basil, some homegrown tomatoes, as well as some store-bought heirloom cherries, um, a little lime juice and some garlic salt. And I'm gonna go ahead and eat that for breakfast. Then in a minute, I'm going to make a iced chai latte. Um, I like having something in the mornings. I kind of miss having the like, coffee and things like that, but I don't really like coffee lately, being pregnant. So I found some decaffeinated chai concentrate and I just mix it with some, some soy milk or oat milk and have a little chai latte in the mornings. So I'll show you guys that in a little bit. It's time to eat and this is like, so good. I've been really craving fresh foods lately. In the beginning, it was all like creamy and hot things, and now it's all fresh and cold things. So my tastes have certainly changed over the course of this pregnancy so far. But I love avocado toast. It has all those healthy fats, and you can add a lot of bright freshness to it. And I'm going to eat it while I get some work done. This is kind of like one of my little workstations. I have my laptop right here. And I'm working from home due to the coronavirus. So the nice perk of working from home is I get to make a delicious breakfast that's nutritious and better for baby and me and also get some work done at the same time. If I ask you Well, it's time for lunch. So I've got this little garden hot and I'm going to pick some kale. I'm going to make a kale salad with lots of good stuff on it. So let's go ahead and get some of this kale pick. Close your eyes. Get some rest. So going to pick some nasturtiums. Chest. It's so hot out there. Oh, it's like 93, which is really hot for us. So I've got kale and nasturtiums in this basket. 
I also picked some fava beans the other day and I have some fresh broccoli to put on the salad. I'm going to put some tofu and garlic scapes and then I'll top it off with some pickled veggies and some yummy sauce. So let's get this lunch started. It's gonna be okay. The sun could go out. We're gonna be okay. If all the blue skies ain't too gray, we're gonna be okay. Calm yourself. Hold my hand. So what you saw me doing was massaging the kale. Sounds silly, but it actually softens the kale, makes it a little bit easier to eat. And now I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some tofu, some broccoli from the garden, a garlic scape from the garden. Um, then I'm going to peel some fava beans and shell those guys and throw all of that on a cast iron with a little bit of oil, saute it until it's nice and crispy, and then put all of those things on top of the kale and then I'll top it off with some pickled veggies and some dressing and some um, lemon juice. Yeah, I'm excited. This should be really good. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay. The sun could go out, we're gonna be okay. If all the blue skies way too gray. This looks so beautiful and so delicious. So, got my rainbow salad here with sauteed veggies and pickled veggies, and I have a meeting in 19 minutes, so I have 19 minutes to eat my lunch, maybe watch a YouTube video, and okay, let's eat lunch. Callie wants some of my lunch. No, you can't have any. I'm sitting over here at a TV table. No. So you can't have some. Super good, really tasty, bright, fresh, and it's really packed with nutrients. It's got lots of protein in there, lots of iron, which is super good for pregnancy, so. And some garden produce, broccoli, fava beans, banana peppers, and kale, and nasturtiums, all from the garden. That's a win. So I just had a bunch of work meetings, now I'm going to run to the store and grab some burger buns for tonight's dinner, which I'm really excited about. And I'm excited to show you what we're making. And I'm hungry, so I just grabbed one of these bars. They're called Go Macro. Um, they have like 10 grams of protein. They're vegan. They're also gluten-free, certified raw, whatever that means. Not GMO, so they're good. I like them, they're a quick energy boost. And lately I've just needed more like snacks. So having like a protein bar is a good fix. So I'm gonna go to the store, grab those burger buns, and then come home and do some stuff and then make dinner. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, it's 6.30 and I'm getting ready to start dinner. So today I'm going to be making beet burgers for dinner. They're actually veggie burgers where beets is one of the main ingredients and then there's a bunch of other ingredients. Yesterday, I decided to harvest some beets, which I have in this bag right here. It's just a couple of them. They're super small, but they will do just, just perfectly for this recipe. So I'm gonna throw, throw these in the sink. And I'm not gonna walk you through the recipe because I have it on the blog, actually. So if you want, and I actually have a video on our YouTube channel with this very recipe. So if you wanna see that, you can head on over to the blog, the Sunshine Farm blog, check it out. I've got five beets here, which is more than enough. It's gonna call for an onion, beets, a bunch of other ingredients. And then I bought some buns. I bought some yummy looking buns at the store. Um, I make like a secret sauce, like it's kind of like in and out secret sauce, where I'll use like vegan mayo, homemade, spicy radish or spicy relish 
and tomato paste from last year's canning endeavors to make a secret yummy sauce to put on top. And I got this really cool vegan cheese that I've heard really good things about, and I haven't tried it before, so I'm excited to try it. It's called Parmella Creamery. That's what it looks like. So I got the creamy American. It's aged, so it's cultured using cashew milk. I'm excited to try it. Farm grown, traditionally cultured and aged. So anywho, have that cheese going. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything added to a food processor and mix it up together. And then it's almost like a batter, like a thick batter that you form into patties. And I'll do that over in the cast iron for the burgers. So let's get things started. good and it's super exciting and I'm actually a dipper so I like to put sauce on my plate and dip whatever I'm eating it's into not a that. Thing. Dipping's not a thing. <laughs> dipper, a dipper is not a thing. Yes it is. So I made this like sauce which is kind of runny but it's just a combination of ketchup, vegan mayo and spicy relish and that's what I'm gonna dip it into and um, yeah we're gonna enjoy some burgers. We're both really excited. It's been a while since we've had these. We'll go sit and enjoy like a YouTube video or something, but um, I want to show you guys the first bite. First bite. Signature dip. I mean, upside down. Mm. So good. And finally, because I'm pregnant and because I want to, I'm finishing the day off with a dairy-free ice cream cone. This is s'mores flavored ice cream from a local company that makes dairy-free ice cream and just a generic waffle cone that happens to be vegan from the store. Mm. It's really good. This one's coconut milk based, so it doesn't scoop as easy, but I, all, I got it all in. I'll see you guys next time, friends. Bye. Beautiful stars, I wanna take a trip to Mars, nothing